my relationship with Michael actually started, I probably have my sister to thank for that. I am four years older than Michael. I'm 37 and Michael, actually, I think Michael just turned 34, but somewhere in the neighborhood of three and a half, four years older than Michael, Michael and my sister went to school together. So, uh, I mean, my earliest memory of Michael Bay was him and my sister and a few other friends throwing up in my parents' house after thinking that they were going to be clever enough to drink vodka and fill it up with water, as though no one had ever tried that trick before. So that's my, I mean, I can remember Michael Bay, I think he was probably 12 and I was probably 15 and a half, maybe 16, maybe I was driving. Um, so I knew him casually just growing up, but I didn't really, I, you know, that's an age where, uh, as a teenager, you're not really hanging out with 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds. And when you're 17, you're not hanging out with 13-year-olds. When you're 18, you're not hanging out with 14-year-olds. And I went off to college and would see Michael once or twice a year when I'd come home and get back together with my family and my sister and everybody. When I graduated school in, I went to University of Colorado, Boulder, uh, I then applied to USC Film School and there's an interesting sort of a side story to that, which is that my uncle is Francis Ford Coppola and I was, it was the senior, my senior year of college and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life and I knew I wanted to go to film school, but I couldn't get any support from my family who was in the film business, but they all felt that I should become a lawyer or an accountant or some real job. And uh, it was Thanksgiving up at Napa, which I used to do every year, go to Napa and stay at Francis's place. And George Lucas was over. And these guys were boasting about what great uh, Risk players they were. You know, the Milton Bradley game Risk, which is an army game. So I challenged them to a game of Risk. And the, the, the bet being that if I lost, I would do anything they wanted. I was their slave for the next four days. And if I, had, if I beat them, they would both have to write me letters of recommendation to film school. At about 3 o'clock in the morning, I think I took over, you know, uh, the Ukraine and, uh, and won. So when I applied to uh, NYU, USC, and UCLA Film School, needless to say, I got into all three. But when I was going to USC Film School, Michael Bay was, I think, at Wesleyan at that time, and he was really getting interested in film. So every time he came home for Christmas, he'd call me and we'd talk, and he was asking me, should he go to film school? And I was giving him my take on it. So, you know, Michael was talking about, well, USC or this or that, and I think he got into Art Center and, that, and that's where he went. And while he was at Art Center, the difference was that at USC, you did projects and you had to utilize all of the students in the school. You couldn't seek outside help. Art Center was sort of uh, different. It was really more of a professional trade school. If you were in the film school there, the idea was to try to come out of that school with the best showreel you possibly could. So I was now out of film school and working as, a, or trying to work as a cinematographer, and I was the most experienced person that Michael knew. So Michael would call me to do these weekend projects for him, and we would do our own versions of commercials. We, would, we did a great Coca-Cola ad that we uh, shot on the USS Missouri down in Long Beach, and we spent no money doing it. We just went down to the Navy and asked if we could use their ship, and they said sure, and begged and borrowed and stole cameras and, and, and did it. And that's kind of how our relationship it went from being uh, acquaintances to a working relationship and based on that material Michael got signed to propaganda we started doing commercials together and our styles kind of really evolved together because we both sort of came of age at the same time and that's that's really our history in a nutshell I mean that's sort of a sh readers digest version of it <laughs>